Hi, in this tutorial we will briefly show you how to add a resource. Firstly, a resource is something that can be used to complete a job. Examples, materials like paint is a resource. Other types of resources can be loaded as well. Tools, outsource services, as well as subcomponents. Let's have a look at how to add a new resource. On the screen, you can see the list of your current loaded resources. I have loaded two examples already, glue and sandpaper. To add another resource, simply click the Add New Resource button. Now type in an item code and items description. In this example, we are adding a type of paint to our resource list. After the item code and item description are filled in, simply press insert. Now we will continue filling in more details. If there is an item you wish to add to any of the lists, simply click the add new button. Add the item you wish to add, then close the pop-up window. You will be able to select the new item from the drop-down list. The next three fields ask whether you can manufacture the item, whether you can purchase or outsource the item, and if the resource is depletable. Note that when a resource is saved as manufacturable, the resource can be manufactured via a job card. This will give you the ability to increase its quantity balance via your factory floor. Add the unit cost price and set the current balance quantity available. Lastly, press save. Going back to the resource list, you will see your newly added resource. Let's quickly add another. This one will be a manufacturable resource. My factory floor produces tables. I need to manufacture a jig for the assembly of these tables. So I'll add a tool resource. Like all resources, this tool or jig can be utilized by any job card. However, it has a shelf life. The jig can only be used for approximately 100 hours before it has to be quality checked. So we add a unit type of hours and a balance of 100. Then when the hours are completed or consumed via other job cards, the item's balance will be zero. You can then create a job card to check the jig. And if still in good order, increase its unit balance once again to 100. Now press save and we're done. That's it for resources. If you need any help or have any questions, please contact us using our contact facilities on our website, www.teacuplive.com. The next tutorial will be on loading a new order. Teacup Live, the simplest way to track production.